In the last video, we didn't name a donkey a cat. But we got Barbie running bad donkey. Going back and forth to the Skystone Catalyst, bringing the stuff here from the Catalyst, bringing a redstone from here at exuberant rates, which I wanted to limit. And I was having a little bit of a tough time trying to figure out how to do that. So I asked you guys for help. I got a bunch of good answers in the comment section. Thank you, guys. The easiest one is this. I took the schedule away from Barbie. This train is in disassembled mode, so we could add stuff to it. I'm going to put a shaft there. And then I got these redstone contacts. We're going to put one right there facing this way. We're going to put another one right here. So when the train is docked at the station, this contact will be active. And I'm going to take a smart shoot. We're going to take a smart shoot right on top of the chute that feeds the portable storage interface. Pop that right there. We're going to put redstone in the filter. And we're going to take the redstone drawer that's going to load from over there. Pop that right there. I have a downgrade in here, so it only holds 64. And this chute will only hold 16. So when this train comes, it's not dumping anything right now because this redstone signal is locking it. But when the train leaves, it'll unlock. 16 pieces will go in this chute. And then when the train comes to load, it'll lock this so no more will come out. And only 16 pieces of redstone will go in there. That, to me, is the easiest solution to my problem. Link that drawer to the controller in there. And the last thing I got to do is switch this up because Barbie been running nonstop. So we're going to take this condition away. And I want Barbie to sit here for 15 minutes. And then... Go to Skystone 2 when cargo loading is idle for more than five seconds. It will leave there, come back here, wait 15 minutes, and only get 16 pieces of redstone. I got to assemble the train. I was ready to give the schedule. Boom. Barbie, you can ride dirty again. That Barbie's approaching the station. Nightfall is upon us. Do you work? Shoot is empty. 16 pieces are in there. Barbie will chill here for 15 minutes. Enough about this Barbie. Let's get into something different in this pack. We need to automate this stuff. Violet Corundum. Now, I got these as a quest reward. So, we're going to skip a couple steps in the quest book, thankfully. But... In there, it tells you if you pour water on this, you'll grow a crystal. And then you can use the crystal to make these runes. And we need these runes to make the runic tablet. And we need the runic tablet so that we can make source gems. Now, we need source gems for all different things in this pack. So that's going to be the ultimate goal. We're not going to make it to this point in this episode. Let's just figure out if we can automate the violet corundum now in order to do that you have to go down below ground we need to do this below y level 20 down here i have a spout already i've been playing around with this trying to figure out a way to do this and i think i have a solution we need to break that block the violent corundum goes here and when you feed water into this spout this is just a temporary way that i set it up for testing it grows so we need to break this and pretty much just keep this stuff right here these clusters and then if we look at let me pick them back up if we look at the uses on this in here a compactor or actually that recipe is probably way easier if we do this in a mechanical crafter, rune dust, and the three corundum clusters, what's different here? You need three rune dust. I mean, let's see how fast this produces clusters, or if it even works. Because the other thing, you need a blaze burner, you got to heat it. We're going to do all that upstairs, though. Or that's my hopes. And what I'm thinking for here is if we... Let me take that down for now. I have that shaft that you just saw. And in there, I want to put windmill sails. That's going to power drills here. 
and then we'll offload it up at ground level and deal with our byproducts of this upstairs where we want it. Let me set this up, see if it even works. All right, here's what I'm thinking. We want to break this block, right? So if we take mechanical drills and we put one right here, spin this chumpy, and then we want to come out. I want to make like a T here or a cross rather. Five across, two that way, and two this way. Because ultimately, if this works, I'm going to have four of these violet corundums. One, two, three, four right there. Dumping water on there. And if this is spinning, I'm hoping that a spout will dump water on top of it. I think this is going to work. I'm not quite sure. Like it, I don't really test stuff. So this is our first attempt at this debacle. So we got the drill set up. Now we need to add an inventory. And I'm going to put a barrel right there. So whatever these drills break will go into this barrel. Easy. Now we need a mechanical bearing. And I need some blocks to get up here. My inventory's so jacked up right now. We're going to get up here. We're going to put a mechanical bearing on top of this guy. We're going to spin it. So the super glue is facing that. And then on top of here, we're going to put a windmill bearing. Need a little bit more headroom here, I think. Perfect. Go up. Windmill bearing right on top of this guy. Boom. And we're going to go up with windmills all the way to the ground if this works. Now we need super glue. And I need to glue this barrel to the drills. And I'm going to do it like this just because I don't want glue everywhere on this whole deal, right? So now that is all glued as one unit. And it should, if I put windmill sails above here, let's just start throwing some of them on there. You need eight of them for it to actually operate. I can't even move around here. I should have dug this out a little bit bigger. Windmill sails, where are they at? There they is. Boom. We're going to go up with these. These don't require super glue, but they do require to attach to the windmill bearing three, four, five, six, seven, and eight is all we need for now. But I'm going to run them all the way up to the ground if this actually works. Let's give it a spin. Fire this bearing up. The drills are turning. They're spinning. Now we need to add this guy right here. Is that going to go through that? It should, in theory. Perfect. Where's my drain? Item drain. We're going to put this guy right here. Temporary. Little faucet on there. And I need a bucket. Put some water in there. Dump water. The faucet and the spout works. That gets the corundum. Does it break it? And it should break the crystal too at the same time, right? And it should go in this inventory right here. Perfect. Except it's not. I had an epiphany when I was running these sails up. We're going to put a portable storage interface up here. This is ground level. And we need this whole contraption to be as one unit. So that was my epiphany. As I'm running these sails up, I'm like, you know what? I built that absolutely wrong because it was split into two pieces. Like with the windmill bearing at the top, we need these sails to be tied into the drill contraption because we want it to hold inventory through the sails and transfer it up to the top. So we need to run the sails all the way through the contraption, kind of, sort of. I'm going to put a block there because it's going to make it easier to glue eventually. And we're going to take the windmill bearing. We're going to toss it down here in the ground right there and on top of the windmill bearing we're going to put a barrel and now we can super glue the barrel to the windmill sails and we can glue the windmill sails to our drills just like so now 
we should be ready to rock and roll. I mean, other than there's no corundum and there's nothing else going on here. But if I activate this, no, I have to glue the rest of these sails together and that storage interface at the top, I think. I'm not sure that the sails require glue. And bring this glue all the way up to the top of the sails and tie in, tie in, tie in. <laughs> Get rid of you. We're going to put you right there. You're now glued to that. And now I can glue the portable storage interface to this. And we can set up the offload right now while we're up here. We're going to go one block space, portable storage interface, spin this deal. Sometimes easier said than done. Shoot into... You already know what I'm using. Storage controller. Shoot into that guy. Boom. And then we need two boxes where they is. Two boxes. For now, I'll just put them right here. I don't know where I'm going to eventually move them. And we need to lock these guys. And we need this configurator tool. We're going to lock you, lock you. Grab one of these. We'll put this in here. Boom. And grab one of these. We'll put that in there. Boom. Boom. Linking, shift, click, click. Those boxes will fill up with the stuff from down below, hopefully. Now let's head back downstairs and set this up. And for testing purposes, let's toss this corundum cluster in this barrel, fire up this windmill, and see if it offloads. It does. Perfect. Now we can set up. I didn't glue that to there. Time out. How about now? Do you run? Oh, like a champ. I didn't glue the other ones. What is going on here? This can't be happening. <laughs> Stop you. Glue. Ah. Ah. Nailed it. First try. He glue all them drills on there, and they all spin as one unit. <laughs> and it goes up to the top. Now let's set up this kit down here. We need the violet corundums. Yeah, they're violent, all right. We're, we're going to put them down right there. I need a couple blockage here. And we need some spouts. Four of them. One. Two. Three. And a four. Now, the last thing we got to do is just pump water into those spouts. Pretty simple. All right, I got the pump set up. Infinite water sources at each one feeding into each individual spout. And I think the simplest solution is we're going to put a big cog wheel right here. And toss a water wheel on there. And maybe if we go something like this. Where's my bucket? Is this going to work? Like a champion it is. Do that on all four of these. And I think we got ourselves an automated corundum system. Except that just came back here. Why? Why is that not picking them up? Here too. <laughs> I need to add more drills. Drills. Boom. And glue. Hopefully we have enough glue on us. I want to add a drill here. A drill here. A drill here. Can't get around. And a drill here. We need to glue these guys onto the contraption. And now when one grows back here, it should get broken and added into here as an inventory. Hopefully, hopefully. Let's fire this up again. Ah. It's offloading. Okay. I need all my spouts back again. <laughs> this is going great. Spout. 
What do you get? You get a pump. Ow. Pump. That deal needs to spin. Then it gets a pipe. Pipe. Ow. Spout. 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 If we do this without dying, we're winning. That's my take on this situation. Okay. We got that licked. Now, what did I have to do? Give me my spout back. Ow. Thank you. Ow. <laughs> Things are expensive. Now, we need to do the pump again. Let's try this. Where you at? Big cog. Water wheel. Bucket. Water. Big cog goes right here. Like a so. Water wheel goes there. And then we put... Ah, water right... No. Water right here. You work now. I'm hoping you do. I think we got it figured out. Pretty sure. I just have to power those other pumps. Ah. I think we made a machine that makes a mess. That's what I think we've accomplished. I can't even get through there. I'm gonna die. It's dropping crystals all over the place. Why is it doing that? And this is the part where it comes to authenticity, I guess you could call this. This is an absolute failure. But we can't have this. Like these crystals laying on the ground like this. And I thought I had a great solution here with these drills and all this whole contraption. And what goes in this box works great. But... I can't have my world with these things just laying on the ground like this because eventually that will cause problems. So I need to come up with a different solution for this, but I think it's worth sharing this video so you could A, either laugh at me or learn from it. If you had something similar of an idea to do this, don't do it. You got to come up with a different way, bud, because this is trash. But that, folks is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. And hopefully on the next one, we have a better solution. Have fun and peace.